1914. World War has broken out on the old continent of Europe between the great European powers. Thousands of miles away, in East Asia, the rising Japanese Empire would join the Great War alongside many European powers. Given how far Japan was from the war in Europe, and how easily the country could have avoided war, why did Japan join the First World War? Hi, I'm Alexander Peterson, and welcome to Dino Historians. Today, we will answer a difficult question. Why did Japan join the First World War? To answer this confusing question, we have to go back to the birth of the Japanese Empire. We begin in 1853. The Japanese nation has isolated itself from the rest of the world for over 200 years, with the Japanese government being extremely strict on contact with foreigners, only allowing trade and foreign contact with the Dutch at the port of Nagasaki. The death penalty was even given to any foreigners who entered the country. This international isolation would be abruptly ended when an American naval force, commanded by Commodore Matthew Perry, sailed to Japan and forced the Japanese to open up trade with foreign nations. With the arrival of Western and European powers, the Japanese nation went through a massive change the country began to rapidly industrialize. The military was modernized, and in 1889, a new constitution created a Western-styled government, giving Japan a prime minister, a parliament with an elected lower house, and gave some Japanese citizens the right to vote. All these new changes quickly changed Japan from a very small, isolated state to a very ambitious, modern nation. And like many ambitious, modern nations of the time, Japan had a great desire for expansion, or better yet, empire. After the end of its isolation and modernization, Japan quickly followed in the footsteps of their European adversaries and began to forge a colonial empire of its own. In 1875, Japan seized the Ryukyu Islands, just south of the country. In the same year, Japan and the Russian Empire reach an agreement on their disputes north of the Japanese archipelago. Japan would seize all of the Kuril Islands in exchange for Russia taking all of the island of Sakhalin. Next, the Japanese turned their attention west to Korea, which at the time was a Chinese puppet. Japan began to make contact with Korea. Signing many new treaties with the Koreans. But the new Japanese presence in Korea led to the Donhak Rebellion which was a religious movement 
opposed to the Korean government, which seemed increasingly weak. The rebellion massively destabilized Korea, which caused Japan and the Korean's Chinese overlords to send their troops into the country to protect their own interest. However, the Chinese and Japanese could not coexist in Korea, and the two's troops clashed with one another. These skirmishes would lead to the First Sino-Japanese War, which because of Japan's better, more modernized military, and industrial might. The Japanese won the war easily. In the outcome of the war, Korea would fall into the Japanese sphere of influence, along with Taiwan. During the next few years, Japan continued to expand its influence and military might. The country joined the Eight Nation Alliance, which would take down the Boxer Rebellion in China, which Japanese troops played a crucial role in quelling. After the rebellion was crushed, the Japanese entered an alliance with another member of the Eight Nation Alliance, the United Kingdom, resulting in the UK becoming the first Western nation to acknowledge Japanese control over Korea. Japan would continue to expand its influence in 1905 by winning the Russo-Japanese War. Forcing the Russians out of China, seizing the south of Sakhalin, and Korea becoming fully annexed into the country. Japan had its first tastes in mass expansion, and it was craving for more. It just so happened that in 1914, after the assassination of Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary, war had broken out between the Western powers. Eager to expand further, Japan quickly seized the opportunity that had just presented itself. In the opening weeks of World War I, Japan proposed to her ally, the United Kingdom, that Japan would enter the war alongside the United Kingdom and its allies if Japan could seize Germany's colonies in Asia, needing as much assistance as it could get. The United Kingdom agreed to Japan's offer. On August 7th, 1914, the British government officially asked for Japanese assistance in destroying the Imperial German Navy in the Pacific. On the 15th, Japan sent an ultimatum to Germany, which went unanswered. Days later, Japan formally declared war on the German Empire on August 23, 1914. Japan would also declare war on Germany's ally, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, two days later, following Austria-Hungary's refusal to remove its warships from Chinese waters. These declarations of war would begin Japanese involvement in the First World War, leading Japan to further expansion with the capture of the Marshall Islands, Quindao, and the Mariana 
and Palua Islands. Dragging the Japanese further down the path to attempting conquest of all East Asia. Japan joined the First World War to further expand its influence and empire. With the arrival of modernization and industrialization, also came with a great desire for expansion and empire building, which caused Japan to grow from a small, isolated archipelago nation in only a few decades to a major global power, one that possessed a rapidly growing empire that demanded further expansion. Thank you for watching Dino Historians, and we will see you on the next great adventure into history.